That rooster crow in 6 a.m. Black rifle coffee, a few good friends. Watching the sun rise in a deer stand. Hell yeah, that's my kind of country. This is what we've been doing all morning here is getting all the measurements. This is the garage right here in the blue. Right there in the orange, that first square you see right here is gonna be the porch, and then the rest on back over in here will be the house. This line right here is the back of the garage, and the actual house will start there. It'll come together more and look, look, It'll look different after we get the ditch dug, I think. Now this that we've done today has been more accurate than the last video I've done. This one here, we've got everything squared up. So this is what the foot is going to be dug by. Once we dig the foot, we'll pour the concrete in there and it'll be ready for the block work. Which that's a little ways away. There's a few other things you have to do. Once we get the foot and dug, we'll have to have it inspected. We don't have to have them inspected out here in the, in the country, but sometimes for people to get loans and stuff, it needs to be inspected. So we get an inspector to come and look at it for us, and we'll be ready to have the, the ditch terminated, and then it'll be ready for the concrete. Let's see what we got in here. <laughs> that come from our road trip the other day up to the Amish country. Looks like I got a hot dog. Some chips. And a cookie. I don't know where that come from. And the peanut butter balls. Those come from the Amish country too. What I'm doing there is we've got to step down eight more inches right here. So I've got to move this down eight inches. Now I know it looks like I moved it up, but you have to move it up on the pole because it goes down in the ground. It don't make a lot of sense, but that's the way it works. I've got these numbered here on the side. This is where we're starting at up here. That means 
that our footing is going to be, the top of the concrete is going to be about three inches below the ground level. Right here. That's up on this corner. I know it don't show up on the camera, but the ground's falling. So we're constantly having to step down here. We're gonna have to move another eight inches down in the ground here now. Well, we're done for today. We've about run out of diesel for the backhoe actual digging on the footing we've been digging for about two hours and we're a little probably around halfway done digging the footing i'll carry you around through here and show you what we've got done this is where we started i videoed this part from here to the other end is 47 feet 44 feet we've got all of it dug we turned the corner here and got this end. We got just a little bit of a bow in it, but I think it'll be fine. The block will be laid straight. There's a few step downs. That's what we call these is where you step down eight inches. And we've turned this corner it's just a short turn here, and then we turn back out here. This will be a porch area right here. Up there where they're at now, that's where the garage is going to be. We still like all these marks out here. These will be pier holes, just individual little holes poured with concrete. This will be a solid footing through here. On the left side of it, will be the garage and on the right side of it will be the house. So we loading up and heading home. <laughs> it's about 3.30 in the evening. We've been here longer than the two hours of digging. Y'all saw us, we had to square up the house and mark the foot and off and stuff. So we've had a pretty good day. It's not been a real hard day. When we start setting the grade stobs and pouring the concrete, those days will be a little harder. We'll have to go around this footing with a shovel and clean the inside of it out. Any roots sticking out in it, we'll cut them loose. Make it look nice before we pour the concrete in it. I hope y'all enjoy this video. This is just what we have going on right now. I know it's probably not as interesting as saw milling videos, but it's what we're doing right now. And I don't know, we may be back at the saw mill when we get done with this house. We've got a few little jobs to do at the sawmill. Whether or not I'll get to record them, I have no idea. But I hope everybody is doing all you can to prepare for the things that are coming. None of us have a crystal ball. We don't know what the future holds, but we do know that food, gas, has all got more expensive. So I'm doing all I can to prepare for the future. And I hope y'all are too. I thank you for watching. I pray God blesses you, and I'll see you in the next one.